Hello guys, I'm Shine from Simplex. Today we are going to shoot a unique video. This video compares three products from the same company. The company being Western Digital and the products in question being the WD Green, the WD Black and the WD Blue. Let's dive straight into the specs first. Firstly, WD Green has a 5400 to 5900 variable RPM. WD Blue and WD Black have 7200 RPM. RPM, rotations per minute. That means, let's say to simplify things, I'm going to put it as amount of information extracted per minute. Okay, I'm simplifying things for you. So, obviously WD Green is the slowest of the lot. WD Blue and WD Black are much faster. Now, another very, very important thing to consider over here is the variable RPM of WD Green. This makes WD Green less trustworthy. Of late, Western Digital has improved their game. But prior to this, because of the variable RPM factor, WD Greens used to become less functional or used to completely spin out. If you know what that means for hard drives, it means basically it stopped working because of this variable RPM thing. Moving ahead, the capacities you can see on screen. But the next obvious choice of you know hard drive is the amount of cache. All of them has 64 MB over here. So no choice is there. For a certain burst of speed, all of them will perform equally. But but when buying a hard drive, the amount of warranty given often signifies the amount of trust invested by the manufacturer in the hard drive itself. WD Green has 2 years, WD Blue has 2 years, but WD Black guys has 5 years. That means Western Digital themselves is investing a lot of trust in the WD Blacks themselves. No doubt that means it is the hardiest of the lot. WD Blacks are built like a tank. Moving on, the least expensive is WD Green. The let's say somewhat medium expensive is WD Blue but the most expensive is WD Black so WD Green is the slowest WD Blue and WD Black is fast but which one is faster things get a little confusing there I'll tell you why you see the latest WD Blues have a one terabyte platter packed completely whereas the WD Blacks have 800 gigabyte platters so the density of the WD Blue is higher but the drawback is you get WD Blues at max 1 terabyte therefore with highest density the amount of movement the head needs for extracting information from the hard drive is a lot less thereby WD Blues are the fastest guys whereas WD Black has upped their game to 800 gigabytes you must know that you get WD Blacks up to 4 terabytes but if you ask me for a sweet spot I like to tell you in between the video itself WD Black is the perfect choice for performance and price. I'll go to the next part saying the disadvantages and advantages of each hard drive and tell you the best use case scenario for them. Firstly, WD Green. Advantages, high capacity at a more affordable price. Lower power consumption, useful as a cheap archival storage and a lot quieter. Disadvantages, slower speeds that are inadvisable for primary and gaming hard drive usage. Slower wake and seek times, lower reliability over its life and just 2 years warranty. So, if you want to get a WD Green, my suggestion is get it for backing up your media, backing up your documents, but never as your primary hard drive or your gaming hard drive. Moving on, WD Blue, pros and cons, the pros first, higher speeds, 7200 RPM guys, makes it ideal for primary drive and gaming use, highest density, best cost to performance ratio and speed even over WD Blacks in certain cases relatively quiet for the speed but disadvantage is maximum capacity is just one terabyte and two years warranty so if you just need one terabyte of space you can go for the WD Blue if the two years warranty isn't a deal breaker for you but coming to the costliest option now the WD Blacks why do they cost so much some of you might ask I'm here to answer that question firstly the pros a 5 year warranty guys, available up to 4 terabytes of 7200 RPM of storage, but I'd say go for the 2 terabyte storage option. Next, improved endurance in production environments. 
Suppose you're gaming, you're creating videos, etc. Go for the WD Black, guys. The cons, guys, significantly noisier than the WD Green and Blue, guys, and it's more expensive per gigabyte. Now, WD Green is for storage and archiving things. Clear. WD Blue and WD Black. Black is built like a tank. And if you're building a mini ITX or something small where you have to cram in the hard drive in odd positions, always go for the WD Black as hard drives tend to spin out if it's not placed correctly. But WD Blacks, like I said, has a very sturdy casing and a compact casing which prevents such issues. But if one terabyte and a little faster speed is what you want with just two years of warranty, go for the WD Blue. Hopefully, this video has cleared things out for you guys. Guys, this was a video response to a comment by Shubhodi. Thank you for commenting Shubhodi. And guys, rest of you watching us, I'd encourage you to ask us more such questions in the comments so that we get awesome ideas to make videos. But guys, if you like this video, like I always say, like this video. If you did not like it, dislike it. It's absolutely cool. As long as you tell us how can we improve ourselves down in the comments. Lastly, but most importantly, please subscribe to our channel guys as that is going to help us out a lot. Over and out.